Okie doke. So last night I went through and I sealed off all of uh, the slats that were there in my walls here in the living room. Uh, some people said this was a waste of time and caulk, but I mean, I only use like four caulk guns or caulking tubes. And I think it'll be worth it. Just make the house less, you know, permeable to cold air. And hey, speaking of cold air, I woke up this morning to no water. That was awesome. I got it working now. As you can see, it's working. But, I'm going to take you out to my Buffalo Bill people killer pit and show you what happened. I froze the, the water pipes froze. I ended up having to use my trusty propane heater. But, the main line comes in from up there runs under the driveway, comes into my quote-unquote garage, which, yes, has a Buffalo Bill. Put the lotion on your skin or it gets the hose again pit. That's what I call it. But my main water line is right there. And honestly, this is probably the coldest place on the block. I mean, it's all the cold air comes down here and uh, yeah it froze so I got the propane heater and set it under there and, it, and got it going again it does have one thing wrapped around it the electrical deal obviously it's not plugged in I don't know if this works or not I'm gonna have to go get a new one probably more than one and this isn't, this is probably done okay to the, you know, average Joe Schmo. Not a, I mean, it'll probably keep it from freezing, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff off. This is still, I'm probably still frozen, but uh, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to go get a couple more of those electrical pipe heaters and um, wrap it around there pretty tight like not have any of this crap where it's like you can poke it and you know so it's in contact with it and then I'm gonna wrap it in tin foil and then I'm gonna put new stuff around it and then I'm also gonna tape it up with foil tape but that'll be later tonight cuz uh, I forgot I gotta go to the bank so anyway So anyway, uh, that's why the water's still running a little bit on the inside to keep it from freezing again. It is, it is cold. So we'll go back inside and I'll show you what I'm going to try to do today. I got up at 8. It took me a while to get that problem figured out and fixed. But anyway, I'm hoping to put up all the insulation that I took down, finish insulating this room. Uh, I wanted to get drywall up, but I, I think that might, it might not work because uh, I might not have time. I got a family thing tonight, so I won't be able to work. I'll have to stop working at like four. And it's already like noon, so. Uh, we'll see how much we get done today. Alright, so I'm going to show you how I fixed my frozen pipe. Uh, there's one catch though. It's several months later. I was putting together the videos and realized that I did not finish that one. So, we're going to finish it up now. Uh, it's February right now, so the landscape has changed a little bit from when I originally uh, showed you what was wrong with the pipes. But, let me show you how I fixed it. Go back into the... Uh, Put the lotion on its skin or it gets the hose again pit. Lots of snow up here in Ogden for sure. We've had uh, pretty significant snow this year. Let's see if I can't get in here. It's a good thing I'm a little guy. 
All right. So, let me hop down. Okay. So as you can see, I did install two um, heat tapes, electric heat tapes, which as you can see are on and working and have been working all winter. So what I did was I wrapped it really close together. The direction said one inch around was an acceptable uh, wrapping of the electrical stuff. So I did it um, the two that I probably did an overkill because it's probably every quarter of an inch is a wrap. Um, and then I took this foam, I bought some foam, and I went ahead and wrapped the pipe in foam. And then on top of that, I took this uh, fiberglass pipe insulation and I wrapped it around the foam so that there's pretty hefty amount of... Uh, insulation there surrounded by a heat source and it's been working and it's we've had some really cold nights uh, this year like in the negative degrees so and who knows how cold it gets down here because there's a slope the whole up above me to the east is a ginormous hill and all the cold air just rushes down the hill and right into my pit and I'm sure it has the intention the evil intention of freezing my pipes but I fought evil here and I've won so you know that's how I roll all right see you later